There we go, that's looking a little bit better. Thrugism now has the proper description, founded by the glorious Unwoman and White Knight, Erog Thrug. Thrugism is the successor to the loosely aligned West African faiths. Promoted within the faith is a dogma of female superiority, prosperity, and holy snoo snoo. They await the day their true saviour, Igor, is reborn to with the... <laughs> Fuck. Rid the world of man flesh. Excellent. I'm so glad. All right. Grand Saltigu, Igor the Ruthless. There we go. So so what I'm going to do with this, and, and you know what? One thing I did want to talk about quite for quite a while is, is how the Mad World uh, Total Conversion is coming along. Now that I've sort of got my head around the, the changes added by CK2, Holy Fury, I can, uh, I can more or less make the mod fairly comfortably at this stage. So what I'm probably going to do is port this mod over to Holy Fury. Uh, in its in its entirety, so we can uh, we can mess around with that and uh, see how it plays with all the other shit that I've got lined up right now. But it's it's going all right. So the way I'm doing it is um, using the updated uh, world map generator. I don't know what it's called. It's just the map generator by by Yamili, I think is how you say his name, which um, essentially just allows you to draw a CK2 map, right? That's what I'm doing because the the actual map creation, I've created a, a total conversion map from scratch before. It is a pain in the ass. Like, that is the biggest, biggest time sink. You know, the events, fairly straightforward. Cultures, religions are all fairly straightforward. Societies, probably, you know, fairly complicated. But compared to the actual map itself, like designing all of this, very, very difficult. You have to be very, very meticulous. It's not like you have to be an artistic genius. It, it's just the case that it bases it all on pixel data. So if you accidentally put one pixel out of place, the whole thing can go boom. So... Having a tool there that lets me draw the foundation of it and then customize it personally after the fact is making my life so much easier. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm drawing the map out, letting the generator do it as, as a very sort of basic thing. Adding rivers, you know, sort of re-sculpting it as and where, doing a nicer coast, you know, sea tiles, that type of thing. Um, but I hope to have that done within the new year. Like within the very start of the new year. Might even be done before that, but but with Christmas coming up and everything, it's, it's throwing a spanner in the works. I've got... Um, Elrang is going to be one of the big... Obviously, we've got the big, regular big characters like this, Walney, Everqueen, Elrang, all of that crap. But with... The religion player is going to be the big part of it. I'm still deciding how I want to do the actual main characters themselves. Whether I want to do them as landed characters on the map. Or sort of off-map characters you can worship. Sort of similar to the uh, to the Elder King style of uh, off-map power. Anyway, not important. Let's go for Eagle Throog. If you guys want to hear more about Mad World, I'll talk about it on the stream tonight. If, if you're interested in that type of thing. Speaking of which, there's a live stream tonight. Um, Twitch.tv slash RomanD2Games Gonna be live at like, I don't know, 9pm GMT Haven't really thought it through yet We're playing some New Vegas modded just casually to see if my stream works It's gonna be a meme stream as well, so come and request some shitty shitty songs Alright, so, Igor Throog I'm getting distracted here, so one thing I did want to do is try and take the rest of Marrakesh It's looking kind of ugly If we take Marrakesh, we take the Umi ads out Then we'll take this entire sort of I Ideally we want to take the whole of Africa, right? I feel like, oh Jesus Christ Wow they are huge, in awe at the size of that lad. We want to take the whole of Africa. I feel like that should be our game plan right now, and obviously form the world's greatest republic. Speaking of the republic, how are we doing right now? So we've got four trade posts. Unfortunately, only two of them are going to be coastal, because obviously two of them are the uh, what, two assault mines, right? We can always give those away if we need to. Now, we want to get the gold mines as well. We're currently fabricating claims on... Did we not grab one? Did we not get a claim on one of them? Apparently not. Oh, you know what? It was our father, Grand Saltigu Irog Throog, that actually got the claim there. So... Hopefully we get that sooner rather than later. Now, where's the other gold mine? I'm just trying to look for it. Is this one here? Now, one of them was a different religion. Yeah, it's you. So before we do anything else, let's tidy up our vassal map mode. So let's go find characters. Let's go search round. Reset. Ruler. Yes. My religion. No. Right, so we've got you. We could just revoke it. That's going to make our lives a lot easier if we just revoke that title. They're going to say maybe. Okay, what we want to do then is march the retinues down and stand there and uh, spook her into giving up her gold mines. Because I would really like this. Oh, speaking of which, there's actually a revolt there as well. That's very convenient. The conversion of Nan Nanken. Oh, they convert to the Buddhist faith. What were they before? A mass conversion to Buddhism. Very weird. What were they before then? I have no idea. Might have been the, uh, the Bon religion, I think it was called. Upon the conclusion of a long council meeting, you decide to make a toast. Of course, one toast eventually becomes many, and time seems to slip away. Um, oh god, please help. Gently, classic gently, back again. We're unmarried, aren't we? Oh no, we are married. We're 30, though, so we need a son as soon as possible. Um, well, we've already got the family focus. There's not really much else I can do in that regards. We've got... Do we have anything to give us any boosts? Wait, she can't equip that, but really? Is she that stupid? Why can't we equip that? What do we need? Oh, shit! It's on tribal warfare. We're not tribal anymore. Right, okay, that makes sense. Fair enough. We have to go a decent cookbook, apparently. Where the hell did we get that? Um, original owner granted... Irog? 
wrote a decent cookbook. Well, that's terrible. Oh, I'm a little bit disappointed by that. All right, fair enough. So, like I was saying, let's get down here. We're going to stand very threateningly. And hopefully they'll agree to have these revoked, seeing as they're already in a war anyway. They're more likely to say yes. They're saying no, they're actually really standing the ground this time. Okay, fine. Let's go to war then, fucker. And that was also going to make them a traitor, giving us basically free revocation anyway. Now, we only want the, the gold mine promises. I'm not interested in absolutely anything else at all. Let's get these assaulted down quickly. Um... Igor in her infinite martial wisdom. Well, it's not really infinite. It's, th it's 33. Igor with a 33 martial can lead absolutely all the troops. Oh, my God. Um, what happened this time? Vol Volhynia. Russia is now Sunni Muslim. Of course it is. Why not? Why wouldn't it be? Understandable. Have a great day. What is going on over there? Let's not worry about, you know, the, the dealings with Europe. That's, that's, a, that's a distant realm that really has no... I mean, it's not that distant. It's just over the Strait of Gibraltar. Uh, Zabek might fancy me. Uh, it seems like he's begging for it. He's got great pox. I'm really not interested. Get out. Don't ever talk to me. I, I feel like we should have him executed. How dare you? Death by Snoo Snoo. Wait, convert? He's a, he's a reindeer. Where does he come from? Um, do we want to spend 303 gold on 30 military tech points? Absolutely not. That is absurd. You'll make a fine sacrifice to Eagle Throog. I think you absolutely will. And there's our claim as well. Oh, God, Jesus. Um, wait, is that not the one we're going for now? No, it's not. Oh, god damn. 600, 607 gold. That's all of our gold gone, but it's going to give us a gold mine. So, I mean, it's gold for gold's sake. I feel like it's probably a good conversion. Never has the Throog Principality seen a such display of greatness. What the hell is the Throog Principality? What? <laughs> I didn't even know what that means. Okay, sure. Why not? The Throog Principality. That's something new. That's nothing I've written up. There must be something the game's maybe taken from the, uh, maybe from House Throog. Maybe it means maybe it means we built it in our in our like uh, mansion. I think they're called, aren't they? Very weird. Um, do you want to become friends with this person? I don't see why you would ever say no to that event. I really don't understand it. Hail heroin, the lens of Emir Amde, a right right for the picking. Sure, we'll, we'll take him out in a second. Hang on, we got gold mines to steal right now, my friend. My ship and cargo lost. Classic. You'll make a sacrifice. You'll make a suitable sacrifice, and you too will make a suitable sacrifice. Now, what if you wanted to know what the kill amount of um of I Irog was. Let's take a look. He got a total of 45 kills. I think he's winning quite easily. What was Aisha up to? 14. Yeah, we've got to beat 45. That's our current high score. We're up to 10 already, and we've only been ruling what like a couple of years. That seems fairly good. I think I think this person's going to be kind of bloodthirsty given the amount of raiding we're going to do to obviously you know upgrade the republic. Nice. Okay, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to be taking that one. Uh, I'm going to be taking that one. Uh, I'm going to be taking that one. She's tribal bar. Oh. We've got free revocation because not only is she a different religion, but she's tribal as well. I didn't even think about that. Oh, shit. Okay, fair enough. Um, God damn it, we're over our trade post limit now, aren't we? Okay, I'm going to give away the salt mines in favor of the gold mines. Uh, you can go then. Now, who has this one? Oh, he has that one? Really? Um, I don't really want to make a king any more powerful than we have to. You can have it. Here you go, friend. You may have uh, the glorious settlement of Tagaza. You're welcome. Now, hopefully, that, that does get rid of it for us, doesn't it? No? Oh, because we're a republic. Shit. I don't, I don't want this. Abandon it. Get, get out. I don't want to destroy it, because obviously I prefer my vassal to have it, but unfortunately, there's no way around it. Right. Let's get ourselves in gold mines, my friends. This is going to be so good. Now, I'm also going to revoke uh, Bambuk, because we have a claim on it. They're going to say maybe. Go on, I dare you say no. Ah, oh, excellent. Free revocation on everything. You're making it too easy for me, my friend. All right. Um, blessed be the ancestors. Canarius is now flourishing. Shit. Well, that means we need to build a hospital. God damn it. We're too successful. After we've finished tidying up the gold mines, we'll just go out raiding and we'll pump all the money straight back into the Republic. And it's going to be sort of um, very cyclical, self-fulfilling in a way that with that money, we can spend it on more troops. And with the more troops, we got the more money we can make. So this is going to be pretty decent. Lots of sacrifices up to Eagle Through. How many are we up to now? 12. Okay, fair enough. And again, with all this raiding, I'll actually get her to lead the troops as well. Oh shit, who are you? My, my nephew, my bastard nephew. Uh, fine. Okay, you're not he's strong. Fine, keep him around. Kadidu. In Game of Thrones, this kind of reminded me of, uh, in Game of Thrones, there's these, these, um, this sort of society, this matriarchal society in Essos. I forget what the hell they're called. Like, they're here, Hikuni or something like that. And they live on this big mountain range. Uh, they're supposedly, like, the, the ones that fought the original White Walkers in the, in the Long Night. And, uh, they're like a woman's society, and they castrate any men that don't have any good congenital traits or anything like that. I feel like we should do the same thing, right? So our nephew there who was strong, can stay around. But any useless men, we should just, you know, we should just do them in, right? I think that's a good idea. Right, uh, our vassals will not accept. Thank you very much. Then we should be able to revoke that one as... Oh, no, because I revoked the top level. Uh, you know what? I'll get rid of you. I'll deal with... 
she already had a trade post there. We can go over our trade post limit. Ah, oh, excellent. Thank you. All right. Goldfield. Look at this. Man, this is going to be insanely good for us. Okay. Uh, let's get rid of um, some provinces, I guess. We can't hold tribes. We might as well give away the tribes, eh? Uh, I kind of don't like you around. I really don't want you to be around. What have you got? What, what artifact have you got that we can take from you? Dragon amulet? Wait, do we not already have one of those? Well, yeah, we've already got one of those. Okay, fair enough. Uh, you, my friend, can go into the oubliette, where hopefully you'll die forever. Good. Uh, plot to kill. Let's get rid of him as well. Right. Hopefully, people want to... Oh, God, really? Uh, counselor content, judging by the judging by the giggling of my counselors, which sounded suspiciously like men, I'd like to point out. Why were there men on my council? Excuse me? Do you know what year this is? It's 9.52. Only women now. Uh, Dejeri, welcome. What the hell is going... What? I thought men weren't allowed positions of power, given our, our religion type. Hang on. Um, let's go religion. How do I see the... Is there not a button to review what you took for the... Okay, I guess not then. Yeah, I thought men weren't allowed to take positions of power. Um, forbids men to hold temple holdings. Right, okay. So only woman priests. Men are, Okay, very pop men. Men are entirely excluded from all positions of power. Clearly fucking not, seeing as we've got a man as our marshal there. I mean, also clearly not seeing as half the uh, four-fifths of the Republic are men. I kind of feel like... I feel like Paradox didn't intend on this situation ever happening. So it's not working as intended. Never mind, it doesn't matter. Should we look over to like, Roman law? Get out of tribal law? I don't see why not. I mean, there's absolutely no downside to it. And, and you know, if our tribal vassals were in, we'd just revoke the titles anyway. Right. We want to head up to, obviously, the, the top one, I think. Oh, no, no. We probably want to go for this one. Corpus Iris Civilis, so that we get the burger vassal opinion. That's not a bad idea. Also gives us domain size as well, so there's absolutely no downside to that. Right, let's give away some crap. So, uh, Wagadoo, I'm going to give you away, my friend, to uh, a very great and powerful lady in my court. Let's go women. Let's go uh, my religion, my culture. Let's say ruler, no. And I should probably save that as slot zero. Why not? Okay. Um, wow. Really? That's all the women in my court. This doesn't seem right at all. Jesus, they're all terrible. What if we search all? Uh, can we grant you a land tile? Nope. Uh, we can't grant land tiles to any of these people unless we invite them to court, unfortunately. Damn, we're really kind of limited for who we can give land out to then, eh? Um, by a holy woman? If we invite a noble, will that be a, be a man? A, st a, a, a steward? A, a steward named Tassa? Hey, that is a woman, though. That's pretty good. Okay, grant land title. Let's give you, um... What do I want to give away? I want to give you Wagadoo. Excellent. Welcome. Holy woman to court. Oh, no, I don't want a holy woman. Get out. I want a uh, noble woman. Damn, it's a shame it's cost me so much money, but honestly, we've got such limited, uh... Takima Kissy. Excellent. We're so limited otherwise. Right, uh, did I not just give away Wagadoo? What the fuck did I just give away? Uh, excuse me? Bamboozled. Alright, uh, search around. Right, let's sort by Grand Line Tile. You can have... Oh, I give away the Duchy of Wagadoo. Right, I see. At least I assume that's what I accidentally did. Nope, there is no Duchy of Wagadoo. What the hell did I just do then? What the hell did I w Wagadoo? <laughs> right, so what else have we got? We got Bure. Yeah, have, have Bure. Wait, no, no, is that Goldmine? That's a Goldmine. Uh, Kiri is not a gold mine, so you can have that one. Six out of five. God damn, we're going to one more. Uh, Niani. Niani is also not a gold mine, so we'll just give that away to any old person. Here you go. Grand line of title. Niani. Right, problem solved. There we go. We've got gold mines. We've got, obviously, the canary. What what do we directly hold, then? Uh, apparently, we've also got Sue. We don't really want that one. I mean, we've got the trade post there, so I don't really want the... Oh, we've got two more provinces there. Let's give those away. Uh, obviously, I'd rather say, like, Tunisia and, and, you know, other good cities along, like, maybe even Alexandria when we get over there. Seems like a pretty decent idea. Okay, team. Let's head back north and start to work on these Abbasids. Do you want to go raiding for a bit? I feel like raiding seems kind of fun now that we're a... Good idea. Now's a good time to revolt. Hey, I heard that, uh, you know, that absolute monster of a woman, Eagle Throog, is walking through with a 33 marshal and 4,000 men. Why don't we rise up? In rebellion with our pitchforks. Yeah, good idea. How's that working out for you, pal? Lose 550 gold. You can uh, 550 piss off with that. That's a... Uh, whoa. Monthly balance, 45 gold a month? Uh, really? We've gone from getting like 2 gold a month being tribal to 45 gold a month. In, in two easy steps. Well, that's incredible. Uh, it really is question mark, question mark, question mark. Step 5, profit. Excellent. All right. Um... Perform statecraft? Sure, why not? I mean, we don't need the claims anymore, eh? Man, these gold mines are good. Uh, I want to upgrade them, so let's go raiding to be able to upgrade the gold mines. 
That seems to make sense to me. And also, obviously, upgrading our actual patrician house. It seems like a really good port of call as well. You know what? I might want to do that first. It's going to give us troops. It's going to give us taxes. There's absolutely no reason not to do that first. All right. Pope, you are going to fund me a mansion, whether you like it or not. Now, I might even get Elder Madam, Elder Madam Mayor Gently. Good God. Elder Mayor Madam Gently, if you could do me a favor and uh, go ahead and upgrade that. Let's get you to the coast and head off to Rome. Head off to Venice, who will happily pay for my new mansion. Oh, we've got so many boats now. Shit. All right, you guys can go. Thank you. We don't need this many boats. Good Lord. Right, those, those boys can go as well. Thank you. All right, Igor. Igor is leading. Should we raise a few more men? We can we can fit them on the boats. There's absolutely no reason not to, I guess. Right. Okay, let's take a, let's probably take a pretty decent unit with us and see what damage we can do out there in the world. Hello, Mr. Pope. What's that you have? Oh, wow. 16 men from the Pope there from Latium. And then uh, Vitabo has 108 men. Incredible. Will Igor survive? Will she manage to lead this absolute unit in in defeating the Pope's armies? Why is England got trade posts? Oh, that's the flag of Genoa. Okay, fair enough then. Why not, I guess? That, that was very confusing there for a second. Did I not mark them as raiders? No, they are... Excuse me? Are we not... Sorry? Uh... Huh. Um, what is happening? I've never been so confused in my life. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna leave because that's that's confused me horribly. Okay, right now I'm gonna try and work out between the religion, the the culture, between the government type. What the hell is preventing us looting then? Okay, I can do this all night. Maybe I could. 8% chance of developing a cult, but this has a chance of raising the quality of your work. What are we writing about? Wells, I hope. Man, the Byzantines have expanded quite a lot, eh? They're looking pretty decent at this stage in time, especially considering this mess. Alright then, fair enough. Um, right, Venice? Venice gold for Igor? Hey, there we go. Venice has gold for Igor. To the nice scholar, Grand Saltigu Igor. To the nice scholar? Come on, you could have come up better than that. Staying idle is not in a warrior's blood. I hence invite you to aid me against my enemies. I'm not idle. I'm halfway across the world, sieging. No, I have other matters to attend to. Piss off. Um, could we maybe even vassalize some people that we've got kicking around? You guys point out we could have probably vassalized our house land or something. Oh man, now they're Torah. Okay. I kind of want to take you out next. I hope you don't mind. Oh, we can prepare invasion, can't we? Hang on. Uh, Aztecs. How many men have the Aztecs got? 52,000 men. Yeah, maybe not. Okay. Um, I think these boys are the ones we're going to prepare the invasion on. The Aglabid Sultana. What do you think? Let's do it. Fuck it. Two years. Two years to declare war. Two years to build up our, our retinues. Two years to build up a decent amount of capital. Venice is, is going to willingly send us a lot of gold right now. In fact, I'm going to send the rest of the boats to come pick it up. Oh, shit. Should have thought about that. All right, boats, uh, come and help me carry off all this loot because we're going to get probably a fair amount from this, I will admit. Large numbers of adventurers have arrived from all the corners of your realm. Nice. 17 ships and 562 men. The rise of the Shia, how long have we got then? Um, 1st of July, 9.55. All right, this is good. I'm looking forward to taking almost all of Africa. Oh my god, that's a lot of men already. That's another thousand men. We've, we've pretty much all, already got the numbers. We are now... our Grand Saltigo Igor. I've got the trade pirate. That's excellent. The Pirate Republic. Uh, excuse me? Oh. Uh, yeah, come on. Do whatever. Yeah, uh, thinks I chose his opponent poorly. You have chosen poorly. That's awesome. This character has earned a reputation as a fearsome raider. So... You're not called a raider anymore, because it used to be, obviously, raider, or if you were Norse, you would get raider, um, and then sea king. Oh, there was, there was another one in between, but I don't remember. So we can just be, can we become, like, the pirate king? Yayo, yayo. I hope so. That'd be kind of interesting. I like the, I like the whole pirate thing. They better not be just calling us pirates because we're from Africa. That, that would be a bit strange. I'm not, I'm not very comfortable with that paradox. Racist. All right. Anyway, we're going to carry off all the gold. I mean, we are pirates, so obviously, okay, fair enough. Yeah, no, we are pirates. I can't even deny it anymore. We're here for the booty, old man. And I won't take no for an answer. Let's, uh... Man, this also says... I need to turn it off. It's driving me insane. Make room at the high table. A courtier named... <laughs> uh, a courtier named... Brr... Ir... Uk. I'm a, I'm a master linguist, as you can tell. Hence why I'm uh, a famous YouTube commenter. Uh, Ixi. That's a name I can get behind. Brr... Ir... Uk. Alright, um... Legalism level 3... Oh, we can hardly centralize, but is that necessary at this point? 
Oh, man. Uh, I feel like the Vassal Limit is going to help out way more than that, to be honest with you. Tolerance? No. Majesty? Uh, I'm not really feeling it. I'm kind of thinking popular customs. Because we're a republic. Feudal Vassal Opinion? Because we're also a republic, so those guys dislike us a bit more if I'm wrong government type. Eh. Uh, honestly, don't know. I honestly don't know which would be best at this point. What do we get out of it? What, what buildings do we get? I should be looking at that right now. Um, court, mustering grounds, fort, port, fishing port. Okay, fair enough. Ports would be pretty decent. Barracks, training grounds, castle, shipyard, fishing ports. I might just go for the popular customs. Three for the buildings and for the opinion with the patricians. Why not? Food, food and beds. Excellent. We've got... We must have a shit ton of men at this point, right? Oh, 11,000. That's looking pretty good. All right. How, many, how much gold have we picked up so far? 350. That's actually kind of surprisingly not very much. To be fair, we've been interrupted a lot by events. Oh. The Legends of Ingvar, the White Raven. There are many raiders plaguing our swords, but none of them become more infamous than Ingvar, the White Raven. Common folk are afraid to even mention his name. Oh, sorry. Uh, sorry, guys. Triggered. Thinking this man is some sort of sea demon, stalking the cold depths of seas and rivers, wanting to strike an uns unsuspecting prey with his 18 martial and 28 personal combat. What's he been preying on? Fish? What a, what a madman. According to the stories, the Ravager leads an army of drowned men and controls a giant whim. Full stop. Lowercase h. Paradox. For fuck's sake. Come on. Holy fury. It's like a 6 out of 10 at this point. He is said to have killed thousands and burnt entire realms to the ground. With his lower h. I'm so annoyed by that. Um, cool. Uh, why do I care? He's in England. Okay, I, I, I could not give... Well, he's in, he's in Wales. <clears throat> Triggered. Wow. Unbelievable. He must be a ruthless warrior. He's not. He's terrible. I'm going to antagonize him. Hey, prick. Come fight Igor. Igor will put you in your place. He's dead. Oh, my acquaintance was caught in the violent fury of Ingvar. No, this was Ingvar. Ingvar, duel, duel me. Can I duel this man? Duel Ingvar. Um, we need to be rivals or foes. What's, what's the difference? Um... I don't want to fight and kill this dude just because the game's making such a big deal out of him and he seems like a bit of a dick to be honest with you. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mark you as... Oh, we already are because we're antagonizing. Okay, fair enough then. We won't worry about that for now. Okay, let's finish off the raid for Venice. Go back, bank the money, rain dances for Bambuk. Bambuk can fuck off. I'm not spending all my gold on rain dances for a province I couldn't even point to on a map. Oh, I could. I know where that is. That's the gold mine one, right? Man, we're getting a lot of men out of this. Okay, we've got a few more months. Let's finish off Venice. Is that... Should we, should we leave it there? Uh, compensate. Go through for a... Why have we not had a kid yet? This is kind of worrying. Is it because we're too busy leading troops? Those men led us small... Please, we need a child. I still can't believe we hadn't had one. Oh, we've got a bastard son. Is he in line to inherit? He's a different house? What if I legitimize him now? <laughs> the game explodes. Oh, fuck it, why not? Right, what's that done for the game? Throog and Throog? <laughs> um, I feel like that's not supposed to happen, but there we go. Oh, man, look at how much gold we're bringing in compared to these losers. Honestly, nobody can... In terms of stewardship, in terms of martial, no one can stand up to Throog. Oh, and we're also killing off that other dude. I don't even remember what he did to me now, but he's dead. Excellent. Prepare food and beds. Oh, right, it was her. Oh, yeah, sorry about that. I was killing her off because, you know, we revoked her titles and I just wanted to rub insult into injury. There must be some way to get into Venice. The city might be well defended, but with control of both land and sea, I have a distinct advantage over my opponents. While well, they have to defend a very large area of territory. I only need to think of a good idea. I will assault from land and sea and crack their defences. We will spread and pillage their countryside. No need to rescue my men. Resk? No need to rescue my men needlessly. We will wait. That's a new word I've invented. Um... Hmm, interesting. No, I've not seen this event. Yeah, spread and spread and pillage. What? We will spread and pillage the countryside. We're going to spread the countryside. What does that mean? Spread the countryside, men. Outstanding. Siege gets... Oh, so we've got like proper siege events now, eh? That's kind of cool. All right, fair enough. I, I don't think we needed to do that, seeing as, you know, we've basically done it anyway. My half-brother wants us to go to war for... What, sorry? Marrakesh? No, fuck off. It's mine. You can get out. Right, we need to declare war now. Thanks, Venice. Uh, thank you for the thanks for the fish. 880 gold. Right, we're off. Goodbye. 420 men. Good lord. This game knows what it's doing these days. Holy shit. Um, excuse me. There seems to be a ridiculous amount of men. I would have gone to war with the Aztecs if I'd known that was the case. Holy shit. Um, I think we could have won with against the Aztecs as well because we have so much wealth. God damn it! What a missed opportunity. Man, I wasn't expecting to get that many troops there, right? We need to get back. 
and then launch this invasion before, or even more, for July, right? May? Can we get home before July? I might just have to launch it now, to be fair. Oh, we can't because we got levies raised. Shit. May? June? Thanks to my connections, I've been able to get in contact with a, with a blackguard hiding in Ingvar's court. The man assures me that for a reasonable fee, he's willing to undermine Ingvar's authority. I wish to claim on his lands. What has he got? He hasn't got any lands. I want to claim on his host. Give me the host of Ingvar. <laughs> what? Believe it. This is not. Wait, what? No. No, okay, that didn't work. Paradox, come on. I paid so much money for this. It was like £11. It's unbelievable. I can't afford that shit. Alright, okay, here we go. Put the. Put the Put the army levies down. Get out. Right. Christmas music again. Right on cue. Right in time for a big gold invasion. Uh, hey, get the fuck out. Here we go. Ah. Oh. Hang on. Hang on. Let's crank it. Hang on. Audio. My boy. I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's do it. <laughs> I hate it. We've got so many boats. This is going to be a massacre. I didn't, I didn't think we'd be able to transport all the armies, but we definitely, definitely can. Why didn't I uh, land the boats and put them on that way? That's too easy. I need these men to be prepared and ready for war. With even, even embarking needs to be training for them. Oh, nice. Small foreign profit. Oh, bill cost minus 12.5%. Ooh, guess who's getting a bigger house? That's right. It's Eagle Throog. Not the Eagle Throog. This is just some, some you know, named in honor of Eagle Throog. We've been over this. Assign commanders. Let's get ourselves a de designated regent. Um, the Sultana of Ghana. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Wow. Okay, that got me. <laughs> Sultana of fucking Ghana. Why? <laughs> Change the title. Just call yourself Queen for Christ's sake. Uh, Kajara, my son and fellow patrician of a different Throog house. A rival Throog. I'm not sure I'm a big fan of it. Led by a man, no less. Hi, Admiral. This is going to be relevant because we have a big old fleet of boats. I'm not even sure this many men could fit on the Canary Islands. I'm not even sure 27,000 men can fit on the Canary Islands. That's clearly a joke. I'm well aware that the Canary Islands could fit 15,000 men. Please, for the love of God, don't leave a comment saying, actually, I think you'll find that the square footage of the Canary Islands is X, Y, and Z. Don't do that. Okay? That's that's not a good thing to do. Sacrifice him to Eagle Throog. Hello, it's us. 27,000 very angry men. Right, let's split these boys up. Uh, no, sorry, women. Women. That was a close one. I was testing you all. I was testing you to see if you'd catch me out on that one. Um, let's just siege absolutely everything. Excuse me, I'd like uh, everything you own forever. I appreciate it, thank you. So what are we actually, what did we actually declare the war for? So, Sardinia and Corsica? Huh. Well, that's okay. Um, I, obviously, I don't want Sardinia, Sardinia and Corsica. Sure. I don't want Sardinia and Corsica. I would kind of prefer, um, you know, Tunisia instead and all of this sort of northern African territory all the way down into Sahara. I'm going to take everything. Um, that's the best part of a prepared invasion. So we'll get that for free anyway, just because it's a prepared invasion. But everything else is, is bonus. So I'm just going to see just top level holding of absolutely everything as quickly as possible. So we can move on with our lives. I thought I split this army. Oh, yeah, we did. No, we're, we're actually taking Tunisia proper. Right. Ah. Oh. Happy Christmas, everyone. <laughs> I, love that, I love that the song hits a crescendo and then two people were killed immediately. This is great. This is so good. Ah, oh, CK2, what have you become? A mess. You've become a mess. But you know what? This is for the glory of Throog. Christmas Throog is Christmas angry and wants some fresh land. Because she deserves it. It's in August. It's not even... I don't want to claim his lands. No, no, no. Uh, just tell him he's a prick. Hey, oh my god, that cost me 450 gold and I got nothing out of it. So dissent. I just want to annoy him. I just, I just want to annoy him to the extent that he might come and attack me so that we can kill him and prove who's the real the, the real bad man. Alright, um, no, no money. This is great news, yep, yeah, I'm sure. The Throog Cookbook by Igor. Is that not the second cookbook we've got? Decent cookbook. The Throog Cookbook. Stewardship plus one. Dynasty opinion plus five. That one's okay. Not incredible. Would have preferred the well, but that's fine. Oh, God, they brought some troops over. Askel might fancy me. Please, Askel, impregnate me. For Christ's sake, I need a babby. Like, as soon as possible. How could I not? A uh, plus, she's pregnant, so it's two for the price of one. Excellent. Uh, you're also dead, my friend. Okay, um, can we, sorry, can we, can we hunt these men down and kill them all? 
More sacrifices. I love it. Thank you. The, this war is going to really bolster up our kill count, eh? What happened to him? Oh, he's just looting? I couldn't give less of a shit about that guy. We're going to become fine friends with our sister, Aisha Bint Throog. Named after the first of the Throogs in the Canary Islands. I'm with... I'm with Trout. Oh my god. That, all I had to do was cheat on my husband. It's a little bit annoying because obviously he's also our brother. So I would like to keep the bloodline pure. But, you know, you can't win them all, eh? Right. Uh, you boys had a cross. We don't need to siege every last holding. Just, just most of them. All right. You'll make a suitable sacrifice. Thank you. Get out. Excellent. Now I'm going to move the boats in and put them down. Keep the events for ones because they don't cost any upkeep to my knowledge. My half-brother got married. Wait, what? What do you mean he got married? He's my consort. He can't just go off and get married. Excuse me? Well, what, so your concubines can just piss off and get married as well, can they? That doesn't seem right at all. Again, Paradox, not really doing it right. Okay, fair enough. Look at all this gold. This is it's an absurd amount of gold. I want to spend it all on my... Fuck it, we might as well spend something, right? Otherwise, we're going to be sat here for ages waiting for shit to happen. Right, let's uh, spend some money. Jewel merchants. Jewels and gold from Africa. Uh, Goldfield, level 2. Goldfield, level 1. We're going to be so rich. And we still got... We're upgrading everything. We could upgrade the capital, I guess. Lanzarote. Um, what do we think? Core architect guild. Build cost and build time. Minus 5 and 2% respectively. Absolutely go for that. That will help out in the long term. Leadership and guidance I shall provide. We are now leader of the children of Dongo, which I have not named yet. Somebody remind me, please. I keep forgetting. Um, there you go. I'll go nicely with the religion, I think. Okay. Uh, this is looking pretty damn good. I want to take out those troops, though, because they're getting a bit... Hey, get out. Wait, hang on. Throog in charge. Put the... Throog can lead the army that's going to be fighting other armies for obvious reasons, so that we take much less losses here. But it points to your regent. She's leading... Wait, I thought she was leading troops. Oh, shit. Did she just get resigned from that? Oh, god damn it. Okay, well, we're going to take some losses. We're not going to lose, but that's a little bit annoying either way. Goddamn Babby. Sacrifice. Oh, the kill list is, must be so good at this point, surely. Come on. 34. Well, we're going to beat our last character by a long way. Right. Um, You head round to here. You might as well come down to here, and we'll start moving these guys at crossover. Irog. A son. <laughs> that's how I want his name pronounced. Let the realm know that this is the name of my son. I don't want anybody trying to pronounce that perfect. You have to say it the right way. Okay? Tongue out as well. That's 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 part of the pronunciation. Please respect my choices. Okay. Um, Yeah, we'll let that guys. We'll, we'll take out this province with this team and then move them down and head across as well. So one obviously south, one to the east there. Uh, these guys can tidy the rest of Tunisia. We want to make sure. Yeah, mock his character. Hey, you're shit and I hate you. <laughs> wasn't, wasn't very good, eh? Oh! A fight for glory. Challenge accepted. Will you win the... I, we killed him. I told you we'd fucking kill him and now he's dead. Ingvar, the White Raven. Legendary. Feared with his name. And who should come out? Recently pregnant Eagle Throog immediately destroys him. What a character. What a great character. Honestly. She's just constantly impressing me. Um, Not not with the whole, you know, crappy son though. That was not much of it. That's not her fault though, is it? That's the fault of... Uh, I haven't decided yet. Sorry? Convert to the Sunny Faith? What were they before then? Oh my god, did they just turn their back on... Oh, they were old African. Right, because they had zero moral authority. Got it, I see. The invasion is progressing well, but unfortunately we are going to have to leave this here today, my friends. There is just not enough time to carry on. I don't think we... Like, I think it would take probably another 10 or 20 minutes to get this entire thing done just because the sieging has taken a while. Thank you for watching, though. This has been a very productive episode. We've learned a lot. We've dealt with a lot. We have... Have they sieged my cap? They've sieged my fucking capital. Ooh. Oh, this boy. Oh, you are going to meet the great Dongo in the sky, my friend. The Abbasi has joined them, so let's be a bit careful about that, eh? And of course, shout out to my insane top tier level patrons. Big Dick Timmy, Sean Thornton, Zachary Harris, Tariq, Lucas Salting, Jacob Alexander Fenton, Jackson Woodman, Escape, Croesus, James Ogilvy, Paul, Conspiracy, Necrophilum, Michael Mullen, Haydog, Orcswolf, Josh Lindy, Tester, Logan Thorne, Average Gamer 419, and I'm the Lizard King. For all that support, the insane tier levels on Patreon. Thank you all for your support. And for Nathaniel Limburg, for Kuno Vasquez, Felix Deal, Quell Ashley, Brandon Mantoniak, Paul Master, Evergreen's Waifu, Quasar Fox, Chris, Joseph Beer, Sir Thor the Swede, Nick, Sidini, Astro, Jack Allen, Euphrates, Jordan Campbell, Yoran DeVries, Duncan Honey, 2 and 7, Nathan Flores, and many, many others. Thank you for througing it up. Uh, througs in, in the comments. I don't know what that means. Don't, don't do that. <laughs>